over the full tabletop. It's Keisha. Lou Garb on the Honda Riders. Jake Pengali. Keisha. Arbon. Everything. Pengali. Peterson Dollar makes an error. The other two are clearing out a little bit now over Jake Pengali. But Dobbin and Peterson are having a ding dong. The mid pack still all together here, fighting for every single position. Here we go, Keisha and Arbon throwing it at each other. out. Pengali takes the lead but Keisha had a huge fall. Arbon gets up. It could certainly be the championship right there. Oh that's tragic for Keisha. So Jake Pengali takes over the lead by the Keisha Arbon incident and he's clearly got some room to move here. Unchallenged and should maintain that but Dylan Peterson comes through for a a solid second. At this stage it looks like Dylan Peterson can take the championship over Arbon. Hamish Dobbin comes up the pecking order surely. This is still wide open this championship let me tell you. Here comes the leader Jake Pengali. Solid. He's ridden extremely strong in this race and the benefits are paid off through that Blue Garb on in fourth. Clearly out there. Dylan Peterson, a strong second now. No one contesting him for third. From third, it's Hamish Dobbin from New Zealand on the Yamaha. And Lou Garb on in fourth. As I have it at the moment, Armon will take the championship if they maintain this position over Peterson. Pengali and Dobbin. On the last lap board, here's the race leader, Jake Pengali. On the last lap, Luke Arbon, if he maintains position, will take out the championship. What a dramatic finish here in this 13 to 15 race. But here's the checkered flag for the Kawasaki rider, Jake Pengali. Dominant ride by Pengali. And here's Dylan Peterson in a solid second. Here he comes across the line and takes the championship. And Lou Garbon, the 2007 champion. <laughs> Luke, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Heaps. That was really hard and, yeah, it's well, well earned, I think. Number one plate, but uh, that was a hell of a crash, wasn't it? Yeah, just swapped in front of me. I ran straight into him. Then bikes were ramming me left, right and centre, but, yeah, I got up, still got third, so, no, I felt good. Tough championship? Yeah, no, I was well earned. I've been training really hard at home, so, yeah, it's, it's a great payoff. I'm really happy, and thanks to Honda for all their help, and they're great. Thanks. Anybody else you want to thank? Uh, unit Clothing, Globe Shoes, all the sponsors associated with uh, HRA, Honda Racing Australia. Um, AJ Johnson, Pip Harrison, everyone else, thanks a lot. And uh, what's the plan now? A nice rest? Yeah, I'll probably rest up for a week now, but yeah, and then get back into training ready for next year. So. Did you hurt yourself at all in the crash? Uh, not really, sort of had my groin a little bit, but no, it's all good. Great, congratulations. Yeah, thanks again. But what a dramatic finish to the 13 to 15 250 class. Josh Keisha clearly out in front with Arbon chasing. Keisha has a big endo and takes out Arbon. No place for Luke to travel to. Gets up, basically a war of attrition for the first one up. Pengali takes the dominance, but Luke Arbon comes across in third place to take the championship by the merest of points. 
15 second board up now for the final of the big boys, the 250cc 15 class. Look out for all the regulars and it's this race for the championship between Simmons, McNeil, Russ Beaton, Harley Quinlan. It's down to these four surely and who holds shots? Russ Beaton, Harley Quinlan, Ty Simmons, Ty Simmons. They're all there. Simmons, Quinlan. Simmons, Jared McNeil, Harley, Quinlan, Ross Beaton. They're all there, the front runners are in for the championship. The top four are in the top four. And McNeil's coming up on the inside of Simmons. McNeil's challenging. This is lap one of the last final of the weekend of the Australian Championships and it's this race that decides this championship. Here we come over the tabletop. It's Ty Simmons, eight time Australian champion. McNeil, Glenn McDonald Racing, Harley Quinlan, Ross Beaton, Joel Rizzo, Luke Stites. They're all there. What a cracker we have here. McNeil's all over the back of Simmons. He's surely going to challenge. Here's an inside, outside. McNeil goes down low. What happens at the end? Simmons holds on. This is what the people have come for. The final race of the whole week's racing. And it's everything on the line. Simmons, McNeil coming down the straight, back straight towards us. Simmons has made a bit of a clear, not by much. Ready to come over the tabletop. Surely Simmons is business down. McNeil, Harley Quinlan, Beaton's coming through. Beaton's putting on a charge. What can he do with McNeil right on his tail? No one can afford a error. McNeil squares off. He takes it off Simmons. Whoever finishes in front of each other, this is the champion. It's going to be a battle to the end. McNeil in the lead. Simmons is throwing everything at him. This is a championship right there. Simmons coming at him at the inside. Simmons tries the inside. Will we? Simmons takes it back off him. This is what we've come to see. The eight-time champion throwing everything. Jared McNeil setting it up for the Glen McDonald Racing Team trying to give them their 250 championship. This is the future of Australian motocross right here, ladies and gentlemen. McNeil's coming back at Simmons. No one's moving, McNeil's coming on the inside and takes it back. McNeil takes it back off Simmons. It's on. Simmons comes back surely, inside, Simmons fights back and takes the lead back again, takes it back again off McNeil, backwards and forwards, Simmons and McNeil, McNeil on the inside, nothing in it.
McNeil again squares off, drops down. What's he got? Simmons around the outside, high. Side by side, McNeil again takes the lead. Simmons, what's he got? Surely he's not going to be done with this. He's around the outside again. He's giving it everything. The championship is right here. McNeil in the lead. Simmons, what's he got? Inside. Coming over the tabletop. Side by side. Here we go. It's not done. This is the championship. Quinlan waiting for any error that these two riders have got. Rossi beaten in fourth. In fact, I see the last light forward getting in readiness for the 15-year-old 250cc championship between Jared McNeil and Ty Simmons and who's it going to be? Is anyone's guess. Here it is, the championship. Jared McNeil, Ty Simmons, this is it, the final lap. What have they got? McNeil still in the lead. We've got Lappers coming. We've got Lappers. Simmons goes low. This is the championship race of the week. Simmons comes at McNeil. This is anyone's race. Simmons takes it back off him. Here we go, Simmons. Stives on the McNeil. Last corner. This is it. Over the start finish table top. Simmons. Simmons wins the championship, surely. McNeil. McNeil, Simmons. I don't know. Can I get you water? Water. Chuck. A bit hard, Jared. You know, he's been there all week. He's, he's, uh, Do you think you were first over the line? I think so. I think yeah. I got him. So that's maybe two more championships to add to the seven you've got. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Jared, congratulations, mate. Thanks. I'm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> tough race. Tough race from start to finish, wasn't it? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Right. Ty didn't give you anything, did he? <laughs> Dude, that's the hardest I've ever done in my life. Anybody you'd like to thank? Um, GMO KDM, especially Cade Mosey for training in the last few weeks. It's been absolutely awesome. Choice suspension, um, all the sponsors with associated with GMO KDM. I can't, I can't tell them all now because it's free on your stuff. All of these stuff. Well, congratulations again. Thanks, appreciate it. I don't care about anyone else, he's earned what he's done. Worked hard for it? Harder than anyone. Extremely hard. Ever. Ever. Um. That's all I'll say. Ever. What can we say about that final 250cc 15 race? It was just a magnificent, sensational race that will go down in motocross junior history between Jared McNeil and Ty Simmons. Quinlan steady in third, but Simmons and, and McNeil swapped positions over half a dozen times. Simmons on the very last corner ducks up on the inside, but
but raises his hand over the tabletop. McNeil comes in tight and wins by 0 0.09 to take the championship. That's all that was in it after a full week's racing. Magnificent, and that's our future of Australian Junior Motocross. Now heading into the big league. We've managed to track Kev Williams down, who runs the uh, National Series under WEM. Kev, what do you think about that's just gone on this day and the whole week? Mate, I thought it was hard work running a national at our level, but uh, it's been a fantastic event. The Coolum Club, they've won the, uh, the MX Nationals crown three years in a row, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. It's certainly a tough event, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily shows you who the actual champions are, because I think there's about 60% uh, ability and 40% luck, you know, with 890 whatever it was entries, you know, you can get Ross beaten, you saw him, you know, twice, two races, he got nailed by someone else off the start line and, you know, I guess we don't see a lot of that at our level, but a fantastic event, some, uh, some great champions, great to see young uh, Jared McNeil do so well, Ty Simmons and uh, oh, there's a big future at my level because all these young kids are coming through in the under-19s over the next few years and uh, the sport's looking very healthy. All right, Kev, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Roscoe, what a week of racing. I mean, to culminate today with the excitement of particularly the 15-year-old the final, but what a week of racing, and we've got some new champions. Yeah, we do have some new champions. I mean, uh, predominantly uh, Luke Arbon rode a magnificent race. That was a standout ride. Uh, the ride by Jared McNeil at the end will certainly go down in the Junior Motocross History Hall of Fame, I, I can assure you, after well, seeing point, everything. Point 0.09, I mean, it's how much closer can you get? And really, that's as, that's as close as I've seen for quite some time, and brilliant performance by Jared McNeil. And really, for some of the kids today, it's kind of mapped out their future, hasn't it? They dream this stuff, Tone. They think, live, breathe motorcycles, their family's commitment to them, to get them here, to travel, everything else. They get back after this weekend. I'm sure they all take downtime for a couple of weeks, but I'm sure that the kids, probably after one day or two days of picking up a motorcycle magazine or looking for a result from overseas and thinking about it again. To finish the week, over 500 people attended a dinner and awards presentation at the Nambour Civic Centre. For the winners, it was a tough week, tough competition, and standing on the stage holding a trophy made it all worthwhile. And for the organisers, a brilliant event, a job well done, and time to relax until next year. The Honda Australia Junior Motocross Championships have been raced and they've been won here at Coolum. It's been a great week, it's been some close racing, and so from the Suncoast Motorcycle Club, thank you and goodbye.